All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's video, we're going to be doing another look at some of these juicy, juicy Salvation's Edge raid weapons. Last time we talked about the SMG, and this time we're going to be talking about a special weapon. The Glaive Hat. Nah, bro, you know we don't fold no damn butter knives around here. We're going to be talking about, in my opinion, what is a very, very strong utility weapon and just very good in some other aspects as well. We're actually going to be talking about the sniper rifle. This bad boy is named the Critical Anomaly. This is an aggressive frame sniper rifle, just like Succession. So you're definitely going to find that this thing packs a little bit stronger of a punch than most sniper rifles would. And since they remove the kinetic special weapon damage bonus, that means using something like a strand or a stasis sniper rifle, is stronger than it was before the final shape which is very very good and very much so welcome now if you have been lucky enough to get yourself the patterns for this weapon congrats this weapon's pretty darn good now pound for pound the best sniper rifle in the kinetic slot is still the supremacy but there's a little bit of sweetness with this sniper rifle and that's what we're here to talk about. So as we all know, the collective purpose origin trade for the Salvation's Edge raid weapons is really good whenever you are in a fire team, useless when you are solo, but bonus range and handling is always gonna be very, very nice. And if you have a bow or the sword, maybe a faster draw time and a faster charge rate might pique your interest. But we're not here to only talk about the origin trade, we're here to talk about that good old perk pool. However, real quick before we look at the perk pool, look at the stats, man, look at the stats, you know what I'm saying? It's an aggressive frame, so stats definitely check out. Just wanna let y'all simmer and look at those bad boys for just, just a little bit. All right, enough glazing. Let's go ahead and throw the perks up on the screen, shall we? I wasn't kidding when I said this perk pool is juicy, man. There's just a lot of stuff to work with here. First things foremost, since we're gonna be talking PVE related roles for this weapon, I'm not really looking at quick draw opening shot. I'm not looking at keep away. I'm not looking at snapshot. Now, if we just focus in a little bit on that third column, man, there's some good stuff here. Now, let's just go ahead and be real here. Most people are looking at that juicy, juicy reconstruction. Succession has it. Critical Anomaly has it. It's going to be a great perk, regardless. And then there's some, you know, shenanigans you can pull off with rewind rounds. However, for me personally, I'm not saying this is the best. It really depends on what you're using this sniper for. But I did go ahead and at least have my craftable version have chill clip as i really like the utility purposes that chill clip is going to provide on a weapon like this and with the sniper rifle having four in the magazine you can get three shots of chill clip very very good that is enough to stun an overload champion from literally any direction rather any range because it's a sniper rifle that will allow you to shoot two shots and freeze and unstop and then use a third shot to go ahead and shatter and stun it and then for barrier well it can't quite be immune to barriers but if you do have radiant oh my boy sauce on them you got all three champion stunnings in one weapon this is the same reason why the chill clip riptide was very very it still is very very good inside of something like grandmasters you get a lot of value out of chill clip now if you are going to use this thing for any sort of damage rotation that's a different story that's obviously where you would just rock reconstruction but i do just want to shout out chill clip because i do like the utility that it provides now in the fourth column i'll be honest triple tap is literally just there so you can do some meme shenanigans with rewind rounds i wouldn't really want to do that on an aggressive frame you have what they call the outdated perk and firing line because that's only a 20 percent it has headstone which dude chill clip headstone on a sniper rifle it's kind of funny i wouldn't really recommend headstone personally because you're not going to be using a sniper rifle to one shot red bars most of the time like you're not really going to be doing that it's just not what a sniper's made to do then you have my goat chaos reshape look dude anytime we talk about these salvation's edge raid weapons i have to mention this perk it's frenzy 2.0 as one stack gives you 20 percent increased damage two stacks gives you 35 percent increased damage and a periodic burst of feeling if banner of war was a weapon perk it would be this perk all you got to do is be in combat for 12 seconds to get the first stack then after you get that first stack if you're still in combat 12 more seconds that's when you get that second stack and honestly since combat for the perk is just described as basically just exchanging damage whether you take damage or you deal damage that will 
always refresh the buff and the intrinsic timer for it meaning this thing is going to be at chaos reshape times two very very often very good perk that's why i had to mention this bad boy you want to go reconstruction chaos reshape boom you have a really hard hitting sniper and of course there's always the good old bait and switch bait and switch nowadays is 30 percent meaning chaos reshape here is technically the highest damage buff that you can get on this weapon very very good very very good perk pool i honestly feel like this is a weapon that you could go ahead and try and craft multiple versions of a utility version with chill clip and then a damage one with recon and chaos reshaped or recon and bait and switch now me personally bro i'll be honest i went ahead and just crafted mine with utility in mind with chill clip and chaos reshape dude i love that part of chaos reshape bro like honestly i really really do it's a free damage buff that i don't really have to worry about proccing hardly ever because i'm going to be proccing it just by playing the video game and it's something like a gm it's nice being able to have that damage buff without having to go through you know swaps just a proc bait and switch on something like a champion you know what i mean overall i think this weapon is very very strong and very very good especially since stages and strand weapons are now hitting for the same amount that kinetic specials were doing before the final shape let me know your thoughts and opinions on this sniper rifle down below in the comments thank you so much for watching the video you guys be safe take care consider subscribing get ready to go get that solar rocket pistol this tuesday and i'll see your beautiful faces in the next one adios